Hello, good afternoon, guys. This is Snuffix here. In today's video here, I'm going to be teaching you how to flush your injector without losing the fuel rail. And in order for you to do this correctly and get the maximum effect which you need in order to clean your injector effectively, you will need a cap cleaner, which is the primary material which you're going to be using. You're going to be needing a syringe and you're also going to be needing the straw that is here and a couple of clips and a glue. Now, just for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to be using this car behind me to demonstrate it. So, the first thing we want to do here is to go ahead and go ahead and open this car. Stop the hood. And this will vary from your own car, man. Now, there are two ways which you can actually do this to be able to maximize the effect which you're going to be getting. And that's what I'm going to be explaining to you here. The first thing first here is go ahead and uncut this, unscrew this. This is the fuel line that goes into your fuel rail. And it's simple, depends on your car making model, so you need to find the fuel rail and the supply line that goes in there. Now, this is where it can get a little bit tricky. If yours have a return line, then it can be a little bit tricky. But I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do if yours has a return line. Like this one here is a no return line system, it's only one line that comes from the fuel into here so which means it has the fuel pressure regulator right inside the tank or in the fuel filter and if you just have a return line so which means you need to target and find the one that has the arrow that points this way that means that is where the fuel goes in through then the other line there you need to block that other line while trying to perform this very service I hope that is clearly understood. The reason there is because we don't want any material which we're going to be using to flush the injector to come back and go into the tank, right? Because it can cause some little issues, hesitation and poor throttle response and poor engine performance. So we don't want that. What we simply want is to flush the injector without removing the injector from here without removing the fuel rail everything should be intact here so now that comes the second phase the second phase here is after removing this then you need to pop this guy open right now you need to get the straw into here right when you get the straw into here you also want to get a syringe the syringe you need to get is one of the smallest uh, syringe which when you pop this side open okay here we go now you need to back this up a little bit now you need to get this one out depend on your car making model you need to find something like a rag to get the fuel to catch the fuel that's gonna splash from here because they might splash so you need to find your own fuel line depend on your car making model so, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this side open okay we go it we go it if it is this type there are some that can be clipped which you just need to press the two tab and get this out now here I've got it out now you need to get this one here this is very strange and pop it can get it from any famous uh, any pharmaceutical store now this is the reason why I say you need to get something because you don't want the fuel to pour inside here especially if your engine is hot if it is hot you can actually damage your alternator so now some of us you suppose you just uh, shut off your car immediately before performing this service is gonna actually splash more than it does right now because there's gonna be a lot of pressure built in here so you need to find or buy a syringe that is just the size of this very amount here with this mouth so you need to put the straw of this guy here connect the straw between here and here All right. Well, let's try to explain this. All 
Okay, now you need to put this straw here, connect the straw to this side, and uh, connect this one to this side, and make sure you use a clip to clip it here. Now, when you clip it, this is where the magic comes to play. You have two ways to do this. After you connect this to here, and make sure there is no any leaks. Now, remember I told you to block the second line, suppose you just have a return line. But since this one doesn't have any return line, we are good to go. Now, what you need to do is, you can either choose two ways to find the common connector that connects all these injectors here, right? When you disconnect it, you can find the connectors or find a common connector which is not from the system, from the car system. Now when you connect, when you find it, you want to find this, there are two connectors there, right? So you want to link each of the first one from the injectors, link the number one to number two, number two to number three, just link this one here, bring the wire out, connect that to number two, connect that one to three, four, and the rest of them, all right? let it be connected in parallel now do the same thing to the other uh, pins now after doing that you'll be left with only two wires now this is where the magic comes when well, you're left with two wires you can decide to now get those two wires then plug it to your battery terminals right you can get a different battery to do this or you can connect it with the one in your car. Look at your car battery and connect one of the wire here. Okay guys, now this is typically what I mean. You need a connector like this. If yours is V6, you need six of this. And if yours is four cylinder, you need four of these. Now, you need to connect the port here that is into here like this. I have to maneuver yourself to connect it the same way then you're gonna be left with two wires so connect the first line here link it to each of the injectors then link the second line to each of the injectors then you have only two wires these two wires you need to extend it and connect it to your battery terminals before you connect it make sure that this straw this straw here and this one but don't worry there is no anything that's gonna damage is fully inserted into this one like this but you need a smaller one of this syringe that can be able to have a very good grip here that you're gonna use a, 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 a some sort of a clip to clip it here then you apply a glue here so that it doesn't go out and make sure that here this one here right make sure that this one here is firmly connected and this one is glued and this is how it should be but with a smaller one now when you have linked those wires as soon as you connect this one to the battery connect it to 12 volt battery is okay then you can push can push this really hard push it push it you're gonna push it multiple times now when you push it it will automatically start flushing the injectors and get the the dirt inside into the engines all right the dirt they are very micro they cannot be able to harm the engine so don't worry about what is going to actually come out, uh, come after that the only thing it's going to make is that when you want to start the car after that uh, process the car will do some little hard start so you need to crank it over a little bit more time before the car will start so I'm telling you this so that you will have to understand. Now there is a second way to do this. If you don't have, if you don't have this clip, right? So that second way you want to do this is you still have to follow this same process. Only that you're not going to be routing these injectors. Like I said, you're not going to be connecting them in parallel like I taught you. So all you need to do is to utilize the system connection. So in order to do that, as soon as you have got this one in here, and you are ready to go right you are ready to to start flushing the system to to start flushing the injectors then you press here all right when you press it that hard hold it in that way make sure that it's not leaking from here or any of these lines there's going to be a lot of pressure building here then you advise someone you seek someone to go ahead and crank the car all right 
So when you are cranking the car, automatically the ECM will start sending injector ports into these injectors and they are going to open and start uh, allowing this to flush the injectors. And by so doing, you don't need to remove the injectors. Then after that, when you're done, then go ahead and connect the lines back, connect everything you have connect disconnected back, then tie them securely and you are done. Simple and easy. So guys, if you have any further question, drop it in the comment section below. I remain SnapFix. I will see you guys later. Bye for now.